WeWood Group has lost its mind, seemingly throwing everything at the wall to see what sticks. After DES slurry technology, five crowdfunding campaigns only to go back to e-ink in the end with their recent device and sell on Amazon, they seemingly ran out of ideas. And well, that is until now. Introducing Program Dance Robert. This is a dancing robot speaker toy with Bluetooth 4.2 and an 1800 milliamp battery, which means it takes three hours to charge and lasts about three hours. It also weighs 326 grams. Why on earth would a company so deeply involved with e-paper slash e-ink even consider making a dancing robot? We have no idea, but let's do an all-in-one unboxing and review and find out together. Don't get us wrong, we are all for companies trying new things. It's just a little bit strange that Top Joy would even entertain making a robot. I mean, they've had a couple crowdfunding campaigns that didn't quite go to fruition in terms of fulfilling everything, and it just seems like a little bit of an insult to injury to make a robot that dances all over the place. As if to say, well, we'll let you fill in the gaps. Now they have two different colors, one that's wearing a nice little orange high vis vest and then this one which is the gray one so let's crack it open it already is open and actually they have an app too on both android and ios and you need the app to use it because that's how you program it and you don't even need to have this play music or dance you can make it move around with your own controls there it is right there hand action leg action and combined action meaning that you could just buy one of these and just have it walk around your house and control it and program it to do so. So you get LED light, you get a speaker, pause and play. Oh, I think you can change the eye color as well as if I'm not mistaken. So there's lots you can do on the app and we're gonna show you that during the review portion of this. And uh, there's just cut up pieces of foam in there, all right? Uh, he's not heavy, but he's not light. I I like the, the weight, the initial weight of just feeling it in your hand. He's doesn't scream quality at first glance you know there's some things you put in your hand and you're like oh wow that just jumped off the that just jumped right out at me that that's that's a high quality piece this feels a little bit rattly and cheap and i'm not sure if i want to move any of the gearing because it could be already in place that i don't want to spin a sprocket or jump a tooth or anything like that but we're going to take his little face mask off there and see what this guy's all about so you have the button at the front here you have his little hands you can probably put some fun things in there like a little flag or some pasta noodles or whatever you see fit there's a button on the side his head might move left and right i'm not sure yet oh there's that play button on the top so we're going to take this plastic piece off as well oh okay the play button was written on that which means might be a soft touch I'm not sure what that meant actually and the bottom has these nice kind of grip low grip foam pieces it's almost like a almost like a non-slip furniture pad that you put under the legs of your table and are these buttons on the knees they're not they're just joints okay so you have a USB right there and an unknown service port right there as well could be for programming purposes and then you get this kind of Honda Azimo looking backpack that was that robot. We'll put a picture up for you guys. It looks like that's the main speaker. And that's the whole thing. So there's nothing left to do now but watch it dance around. We will start by turning him on by pressing the button. He seemed to jitter his arms forward, which may indicate that he's out of batteries. I'm not sure. Let's do a long press. There he is. I wonder if I'm supposed to hold him. That was pretty intense. That was extremely high quality audio. It was very it had a lot of depth too because of all the layers of music. There was some background atmospheric euphorial music playing along with a fairly high quality robotic voice honestly. I I would have expected a little bit less, but here's the application and it appears that he's been upgraded to Space Robert, which wasn't mentioned in any of the advertising campaigns. I'm not sure what that's all about, but let's connect to Bluetooth and we'll get him going. So this is the absolute furthest back you can go in the application. You have remote control, which is going to be movement, hand action, you have leg action, and then combined. Each thing is going to do 
a live action with the robot as long as it's connected to Bluetooth, of course. If you go back, you can go to the writing program, in which case you can do rhythm, lighting, speed, add actions, presentations, and then you can play it. You can also check your list and save what you have made to that. So let's just make a couple pre-loaded ones and then we'll check back with you guys press play and watch this robot go through the motions literally Presentation mode was interesting. You're able to program various different actions and it looked like he was having a lot of fun. So I can't say I would have this on a ledge just dancing the whole time I was hosting a party, but it is interesting all the same. I am actually more enamored with this kind of video game control layout that you can just utilize to have the robot just walk. You can of course change the eyes here as well so you can make it robot kill mode right there with its red eyes and let's just make him walk towards that little thing over there all you would do is just press the control pad honestly it traverses a lot further than I would have thought and the turning is pretty decent I am a little bit surprised how much ground the robot covers in such a short amount of time. The legs look a little bit stumpy and the feet look really wide and that's all R&D. That's for it to be able to move and dance and go left and right. But it actually moves pretty good, honestly. And this isn't corresponding with the direction you're facing, of course. Up means forward for the robot, kind of like an old Resident Evil game on PlayStation. So if you want him to come towards you, regardless of which way he's facing and your controller is in conjunction with each other, you just kind of have to think that up is towards his forward. And then you can do some hand actions and leg actions anytime. My personal wrap up of Space Robert, as the app says, is honestly has nothing to do with e readers or e ink, of course, but I mean, you could program this via a Onyx Books that has Bluetooth and an app, but either way, it's not built all that well, but man does it sound good and man does it move. I'll tell you that, the app is easy to understand. This is a very, very simple robot in terms of its function. You just press the button to get going and the app only has two things, program mode and just normal control mode. So in that regard, it's actually quite nice. It's just the materials don't seem that good, but the robotic movement and how it's able to move in so many various directions is quite impressive for the quality. It's very, it's kind of juxtaposes itself because you you should think it would be made out of maybe nice aluminum builds or something a little bit more space age and higher tech, but it isn't. It's just cheap kind of hollow plastics, but when it comes down to the motor mechanisms itself, it's actually pretty proficient. Amazing joint articulation, high speed motor control and an easy to understand yet very extensive application makes this a great get up and go robot for literally anybody regardless of knowledge of robotics or even programming. However, the materials utilized are extremely cheap, the branding, names, labels, pictures and other multimedia is inconsistent at best and it comes from a company with kind of a checkered past. Why is Top Joy getting into robot speakers that dance around on the table? This robot does come from the company that literally gave us the quote, we're not going to ship out any more Top Joy butterflies because we can't find a big client who's interested. As it stands at face value, this robot, named Robert, is completely fine. It's usable and available today. Just take it with a grain of salt that this is made from the ever-infamous WeWood Group. <laughs> 